Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use my Candle Python script that I'm putting in the marketplace. Today I created this candle that is actually for you to guess as candle. I created a Python script that animates the uh, scale of the flame part. So just to give you a quick, in, uh, for you to guess gave me permission to put this in the marketplace. So I'll just run it and show you. Here's a quick demo of the, this is the way the candle comes if you just add it to your scene. So it, I, I have this animated for 18,000 frames. So that's fine until let's say you decide you wanted to add a second one. So let's just make a copy of that and I'll kind of get this. Now the only problem with this is and we'll even do one more just to make it synchronized candle. So we have three candles and I'll run it. Now the only problem is they're all animated with the candle doing basically the exact same thing. So that that's, you know, it's okay. Nobody would probably say anything, but just if you wanted it to look a little bit more realistic and have unique candles, then the I'll, I have this Python script that you can use. So I'll go ahead and show you how it works. The first thing is it only works with one at a time. I tried to do all of them and I might work on it some more, but it kept freezing up and it's strange because if I do one, it's like almost instant, even on 18,000. So, but you have to detach this from your uh, candle and then you run the script. So I just say load Python. Here's my candle.python. And then here I put some instructions just to kind of make it a little bit clear, but you have to do this, you know, as I said, one flame at a time. I'm going to move this down a little just to get us a little bit more uh, movement so you can see it move a little bit better, faster. And I'll just say animate. See how fast that is? Okay. And now we'll just attach this one back. So let me go to this uh, attach, pick parent, scene, oops, scene, and put it back. Now we'll go on to the second one, detach. And I know it would be a lot better to do this all you know believe me that was my my first plan was to do them all at once but it is what it is so now we will just go to my candle again should have put this in its own folder so i could see it better okay and now that one's finished and let me reattach it and we'll do the last one and i'll just show you that this worked uh, hopefully and then we'll detach it run our python script candle and I'll move this down again. Okay. And now we'll reattach it. You don't have to reattach it, but if you move it, you're going to want it reattached. So. Okay. So now that's three. So now you'll notice <clears throat> the three candle flames are independent. So that was just the quick demo of how to use my little... Uh, Python script and I want to say a thank you to for you to guess for letting me put this candle in the marketplace because it's his Everything here everything you see the kid the really cool part about his candle is this part right here That was the whole uh, <clears throat> reason he built this is if you select this candle I'll use this let me get the first one and just if you move it and I'll go to about frame 90 So I'm just so it gets a little bit of animation Move it over here. Oh, I didn't mean to make a copy. Oops. I meant just move it Go to frame 90 to be over here, and then we'll go back. And uh, the candle flame kind of behaves like real physics a little bit, like the wind is kind of making the candle drag. And then the, the part, this part here is what I did, the little bit of scaling. So it actually looks like the candle is moving a little bit, but it's really just the three, the scale of the X, Y, and Z. I just changed them a little bit. So Okay, well, thanks for watching, and... Have a good evening and let me know if you have any ideas for uh, Python scripts or iClone props because I'm thinking my next video is going to be a traffic light uh, controller because I've, I've got a traffic light prop I bought but I took to to make the lights change I had to manually do it but now that I know how to do it with Python I was planning on making that a little uh, my next you know kind of Python project. But anyway, all right. Have a great day.